Good morning my friends, welcome along to another video in the travel series. Today we are up in Annick and we're having a look around Annick Gardens. Now this is a, a place I've never been before, uh, I am visiting for the first time. Uh, we'll see what it's like, uh, we'll see what my recommendation is at the end of the tour. Uh, I am trying to dodge showers at the moment, it's the, it's the typical British summer here we are, you know, 30th of July here today, and it's showery to say the least. It's not very warm, I've got my hoodie on. Uh, not ideal, hopefully the sun will come out. When the sun comes out, you'll see exactly what Annick Gardens have to offer. Keep watching guys.
Okay guys, so what's on it Castle Lake? I have to say up to now, I'm very, very underwhelmed by it. Uh, now whether it's the time of year, I don't know. I thought coming here in the summer, I would see Anik Gardens at its best. And uh, looking at some of the plants, it looks like a lot of them now are way past their best. Uh, I can only describe it as like going to your local garden centre at the end of September and finding all the plants dead. Because to me, that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm underwhelmed so far. I haven't seen it all yet. We'll keep going for now. a quick tour of the uh, poison gardens uh, here up at Annick Castle it's, uh, it's a nice cheery tour this one isn't it it's not really what I expected So, have any of you uh, been here to Annick Gardens before? If you have, uh, stick what your uh, what your findings were in the uh, comments down below, and uh, share it with everybody. But uh, yeah, it's uh, not where I thought it was going to be.
Well, I have to say I'm very, very disappointed in uh, what Anik Gardens has to offer. Like I said earlier, it's like walking around a garden centre in September. Most of the most of the plants, most of the flowers have are way past their best. They're dying off. Uh, it's only July. I was expecting Anik Garden to be in full bloom. I was expecting lots of colour, lots of you know nice flowers to uh, to film and to vlog. And I've come here, and it's it's way past its best. The price, well. It costs £16 for one adult, which I suppose on the, the face of things, that's not too bad. It's pretty much the going rate. However, they do charge another £3.50 on top to park your car. I find that a little bit disappointing. It should be free to park the car when you're paying £16. There's another wasp on the lens. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> right. So in effect, it, it's costing me £20. I've been here less than an hour. I think I've seen everything now, to be honest. Uh, I'll have another little look round. I am ready to go home. Very disappointed. But there we go. There's Anik Gardens for you. So, if you're new to the channel, my name's Mark. I'm from uh, County Durham. I do little days out like this, little travel places uh, where you can take the family for a nice day out. I can't recommend this one, sorry guys. Uh, it's the first time I've been here, it'll certainly be the last. If you have liked what I've managed to, uh, to vlog, then give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, cost you absolutely nothing. Tell all your friends about the channel, as well as this vlog, there's another 123 vlogs on the channel, various places right throughout the UK, and uh, also over in Tenerife, which uh, I go to every December. Thanks for watching guys, take care, stay safe, stay positive, we'll see you in the next one, bye bye.